Right, so I was sent a question here by Ryan via TikTok DMs, and he asked, of course, about the signings of Jamie Miley, Kyle Hudlin, and Noah Moani. Of course, this was from the 30th of August. I do apologize for taking so long to do this. I generally didn't see the message, but we'll start off within the kind of names here. So we'll go Jamie Miley first, Kyle Hudlin, and then Noah Moani. So we'll start off with Jamie Miley, of course, a midfielder on loan from Newcastle. Of course, brothers with regular starter for Newcastle, Jamie Miley, but he's not got too much in terms of experience. However, what I did see from Newcastle fans was very positive. And of course, he did feature in the EFL Trophy game against Cheltenham. And from the sounds of things, he did play really well, provides a lot more of a, an attacking flair to the midfield, which I don't think we've had for a good while. So this signing, really positive. There's really good potential for this one. We then, of course, move on to Kyle Hudlin. And I think there's one thing that every Everyone kind of mentions when you talk about him and of course he's a striker and he's six foot nine which is ridiculous the more experience of the signings of course played for Solihull, Wimbledon, Huddersfield, Burton and I've seen mixed reviews on him Solihull fans tend to uh, rate him relatively well in terms of uh, you know his threatening in the box his kind of problems that he can and cause up front and he did feature most recently against Port Vale albeit we were down to nine men and everything else in between I thought he got into really good positions for someone who's six foot nine I don't think he's too bad on the ball however there were a few chances kind of aerially where you could tell the Port Vale players noticed of course his uh his presence with his height and they all man marked him so I'm expecting that to be a reoccurring theme but if he can beat his man and you know and if he can uh, almost use himself as potentially a distraction to have other options open off of a uh, set pieces and all that stuff again really exciting signing and I think we needed this uh this signing of a striker after of course we had the news that Cargbo was injured in the opening game against Cheltenham. And then finally, we conclude it with Noah Moani, who's joined on loan from Preston. This one, I'm probably the most excited about. Why, you may ask? That's because, of course, he's played seven games last season for Preston in the Championship. Albeit not a regular first-team player, but he was breaking into that first team, which is really promising. Similar to Jamie Miley in the way that he, of course, got loads of praise for the uh, opening first half against Cheltenham in the FL Trophy. Of course, we did end up losing that game, but seems very similar to Jamie Miley in terms of he's creative, he's direct with the ball, and can definitely cause problems. And I think we have lacked that creative aspect or that creative flow in midfield with how much we use the wing backs in probably the last season if not the the last two seasons uh this one really excited about as well i think all of these signings were needed for their own reasons especially the two midfielders with the creativity but yeah ryan mitt thank you for the question of course keep them all coming in within the uh, comments just about whether it's your own club and players or just kind of football facts and opinions i am going to try and become more consistent with this content.